This video explains seven ways that you can use to fix Outlook when it's not sending or receiving emails. And so let's get started. Number one is server settings. Outlook works like a mail client and it is served by a mail server e.g. Gmail. To send or receive mails, proper settings must be done. The incoming server deals with all emails that you are receiving while the outgoing deals with emails that you are sending. If one or both of these settings are not done properly, you will have problems sending or receiving emails. The settings will differ depending on which server you are connected to. The server name should be the same for both, but the port number will be different. Incoming port number is usually 993, while the outgoing is usually 443. And so, how do you ensure that you are using the correct server setting? Open your Outlook desktop app, then head on to File, then come and select Account Settings, click on the drop down. Here you are going to see Server Settings. This will help you to update login information such as server name, port and authentication settings. You click on that. So you are going to see this window open. So in this video, you are going to see two important things. That is incoming mail and outgoing mail. So the incoming mail deals with any mail that you will receive. While the outgoing mail uh, will deal with any email that you are sending. So you have to ensure that you have your collect email address there with a collect password. You also have to make sure that you have the collect server name and the collect port number which by default should be 993 as I've mentioned. For the outgoing server again you should have the same server name and the port number should be 465. It would be 465. If these settings are as I have shown you and you're still experiencing the same problem, then keep on watching the video. And number two is check out the junk folder. Outlook can move messages that appear to be junk emails into a special junk email folder. And the email may not necessarily be junk in the first place. So all you need to do is to check the junk folder to see if the emails you're missing were marked as junk. To do this, to check what's in your junk folder, expand your account to see the different subfolders, check to locate the junk folder and click to open it. Here you are going to see a list of all the junk emails and chances are that these are the emails that you are missing. To customize how junk emails are filtered, right click on a specific email move down to junk and then select junk emails options here you can choose the level of junk email protection you want i may not tell you which to choose you're going to choose your preferred one depending on who you interact with emails after you select one you can just come and say okay and number three is check your email's rules. You might have created some rules and forgot to delete them. This might be causing the problem you're experiencing. To fix this, under home, move to rules, click the drop down. In here, you select manage rules and alerts. And here you're going to see a list of all the rules that you've created. To delete a rule, simply click on it and then hit on the delete. To know what a rule does, select the rule and down here you're going to see what specifically the rule is doing. So if there is a rule that is moving your emails to junk, you'll need to get rid of that by simply selecting it and hitting delete. As simple as that. Hope that fix your problem. Click apply, then OK. Your problem is not yet fixed, keep watching. And, and number four, remove some connected accounts. You can connect a maximum of 20 other email accounts to your Outlook account. If you've connected more than 20 accounts, 
you won't be able to send or receive messages from any of your connected accounts. To resolve the issue, please remove some connected accounts so that the total number of connected accounts is 20 or fewer. To do this, navigate to File, Account Settings, click on the drop down. Then select account settings and here you're going to see a list of all the accounts that you have. Select the account that you intend to delete and then hit on delete. But before you delete, the email account containing your personal mail, contacts and calendar data, you must create a new location for your data. To do this, to do this, create a new data location by opening the account settings dialog box, click the data files tab and then click and. For my case, I don't intend to remove my personal account, so I'll not move with this step. And number five is long profiles. Another reason that can make you not to receive emails could be you have chosen the long profile by logging into Outlook. Just make sure that you choose the collect profile that will have you access the collect email account. It is as simple as that. Coming in at number 6, working offline. Outlook allows you to disconnect it from the server. If you click the work offline command, this will disconnect you from the server. This will mean that you will no longer receive emails as long as you are disconnected. This comes in very handy especially if you want to reduce distractions. If you are not receiving emails, check to see if you are working offline. If you are working offline, you will see these early status bar. To continue receiving emails, click work offline command. This connects you to the server and you will continue receiving emails. Last but not least, clean up your inbox. One of the reasons as to why you are not receiving emails could be your inbox is full. Your inbox is full and so you will need to clean it so as to create room for new emails. To do this, to clean up emails in Outlook, you will need to pick from three options provided by Outlook. To learn about these three options, let's head on to home. Under delete, we select clean up. So we click the drop down next to it. And here you're going to see the three options that you have to pick from. The default one is clean up conversation. So this will remove all redundant messages in the selected conversation. So it means you have to select on a conversation and then you come to the clean up conversation. The other option is clean up folder. This will remove redundant messages from every conversation in a selected folder. That means for this to work, you need to select on a specific folder, then you come and click the clean up folder. Last but not the least, clean up folders and subfolders. This removes all redundant messages from every conversation in the selected folder and all its subfolders. So it's now up to you. Do you want to clean up using conversations or using the folders or using the folders and subfolders? The choice is yours, but upon uh, cleaning up your inbox, you're going to find that this will solve your issue of not receiving emails.